Hi everyone, it's Saturday again and today I'm going to read a book and I'm going to do a shout out to three kids that left their school and that's Amy, Matthew, and Miguel. And Amy requested that I do this reading with the mask on. So for you little ones, don't get scared, it's just me, okay? And this mask is my grandson's mask when he used to go do the paintball. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but they put this mask. So it's just me, okay? And this is just the mask I wear. And I'm going to put it on because Amy wanted me to read the book while having the mask on, okay? So here I am. Let's see if I can put it on. <laughs> see my head wiggles around I think the mask is too loose let me take it off and tighten it okay oh I know why because I did it the wrong way silly miss silly miss Jimenez I have it on the wrong way so give me a second you guys okay there I think that holds it up see I was supposed to have it like like that. Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay. So today, I am going to read a beautiful book that's called The Raven. And it was written by Gerald McDermott. Gerald McDermott. The copyright was done in uh, 1993. And it's copyright by Gerald McDermott. Okay, look at the beautiful illustration. Okay, so we turn it around. And look at the beautiful raven. Oh my God, the illustrations are terrific. Okay, so it starts out with this picture. As you can see, this picture doesn't look very colorful. It looks kind of gloomy, right? It kind of looks... Uh, and it's because it says, Raven came. All the world was in darkness. The sky above was in darkness. The waters below were in darkness. Men and women lived in the dark and the So there was one bird, the raven. As we know, the raven is all black, right? But look here, he had beautiful colors, right? And the raven was sad for them. He said, I will search for light. So the raven took off. Look. You can see everything was dark. Raven flew across valleys and across mountains. He flew along rivers and over lakes. There was darkness all around. Then he saw a bit of light far away. He flew and flew and flew and flew and came to the light. The light was at the edge of the water. <laughs> there's Raven and there's the light. The light came from the house of the sky chief and it was shining. Raven perched high in a pine tree and on the shore, Raven watch. And on the shore, Raven watch. He perched on a tree and he watch. He watched to see where did the light come from? What could it be? Look at the beautiful house. Okay? 
This is where the Sky Chief lived. A beautiful house filled with light. Raymond looked and saw. He saw a beautiful young girl emerge from the shining house and go to the edge of the water. Emerge. Oh, what a word, huh? Emerge. What does emerge mean? Emerge. Came out. Okay. That's what emerge means. She was the sky chief's daughter. She knelt and drank some water from a woven basket. What a beautiful, what a beautiful illustration. Look at that. Hmm? There's the girl, the daughter of who? Who's, who is she the daughter of? She is the daughter of the Sky Chief, okay? And she started drinking water from a woven basket. And who was watching all the time? Do you remember who was up on the tree? Raven changed himself into a pine needle and drifted down. He fell down from the tree and floated on the water. So he switched, he changed his body to look like a pine needle. Here he is and he's changing and then he changes and he starts floating, floating down. It fell on the water When the girl drank again, she didn't notice that Raven in the form of a pine needle was in her basket and she drank it and she swallowed it. It was a small pine needle, so it didn't hurt her or make her <coughs> choke. Mm. Look at this. Look at how much light there is in there, huh? After a time, the girl became a mummy. She had a child. It was small and dark with shiny black hair and tiny black eyes. Who do you think the child was? Who do you think? The child was. Hmm? Think. Hmm. Who is the child? There she is. Beautiful. I love the colors. I love the yellow and the orange. It gives you a sense of warmth. Okay. Time went by. And look. Does that give us a hint? Does that give us a hint who it is? It has a beak. A nose like a beak. It was Raven. Raven had re been reborn as a boy child. Raven was very patient. He didn't like, oh, I want it now. I want the light now. No. He planned and he thought and then he was reborn as a child. The Sky Chief was delighted this is the Sky Chief. with his daughter's child. He called them grandchild. He played with the boy. He carved toys for him. He invited the elders to come and see the curious, wonderful child. The Sky Chief was a grandparent, and Grandpapa and Grandmama loved their grandkids. And Sky Chief was no different. He loved the boy. Look at all this beautiful, 
people and look at there he is there's the grandchild and we all know we all know that it's the raven right The elders gather in the shining house with the sky chief and his daughter. They watch Raven, child, crawl around the floor of the lodge. He pretended to be playing all the time. He was trying to find... What was he trying to find, you guys? Where the light was hidden. Raven had a plan. Okay, he had planned this. Remember at the beginning, he flew and flew, and when he saw that the light was there, he made a plan. He planned it. And then one day, he saw a box on the corner. And from the box came a light, a beautiful light. The elders gathered in the shining house. How the sky chief and his daughter loved the boy. They watched Raven Child crawl around the floor of the lodge. He pretended to be playing all the time. He was trying to find where the light was hidden. And now he knew that it was in the box. And Missy Menace just went back one page, but that's okay, because sometimes we have to reread things, okay? Mm. There he is. Okay. The box was large. It was carved and painted with many colors. The box was bright. It glowed. Raven Chick said, Ga 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 go go ga 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 ga. As he got closer to the box. asked his mother. Raven Child said, Ga ga, ga ga. He began to cry. <laughs> what does the child want? asked the elders. Raven Child said, Ga ga, ga ga. He cried and cried. <laughs> My grandchild wants the box, said the Sky Chief. Tricky Raven. That's exactly what he wanted. The young woman placed the box in front of Raven Child, but he continued to cry. She took the lid off the box. Inside was a smaller box. She took the lid off that box. Inside was a smaller box. Look at how many boxes. His mother took the lid off that box and light poured out. Light flooded the room. Inside the box was a shining ball blazing with light. See the warm colors? It feels warm. The colors feel warm. And look at 
raping child. And she's like, hey, 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 hey. What do you think the ball was? It was the sun. The sky chief said, give him the ball. Give him the ball. Raven has the ball. His mother gave Raven Child the ball. Raven Child stopped crying. He began to play with it. He rolled it around the floor of the lodge. <laughs> gaga, gaga. <laughs> gaga, gaga, gaga. Then he changed into a bird. Ha <laughs> ha! He became Raven once again. Kako, Kako. He had the sun in his in his grip. Nobody saw that coming. Sky Chief, his daughter, and the elders looked in on amazement. Raven plucked up the ball of light on in his beak, flew through the smoke hole of the lodge, and disappeared into the dark sky. Nobody knew what to do. Never had they thought that the raven child was raven. And they all watched him take up. It was a beautiful sight. He had the sun in his beak. And do we remember why Raven was doing this? Who was Raven doing this for? Was Raven being uh, uh, bad? Or was he stealing it for himself? No, he was doing it because he felt sorry. Remember, the world was dark and cold. So Raven was doing it for the people. Raven flew. Over the valleys and the mountains. He flew along the rivers and across the lakes. Raven bent his neck backwards and threw the sun high in the sky. And it stayed there. This is how Raven stole the sun and gave it to all the people so that we could bathe in its light and we could grow plants and food and we could be warm. And why do the people always feed raven? In the old times, whenever they saw raven, a raven, people would get throw fishes and throw food at it. And it was because they, it was for them to thank him for bringing them the light. Nice, Raven. Nice, Raven. And all the people of the world lived warm and happy. And they all lived happily ever after the and bye i hope you like it amy i hope all of you like it okay bye bye